Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your horizontal AGV Little Firefighter Earthquake Gas Shutoff Valve with ease. But first, a warning regarding resetting. Following actuation of this device, you must reset the device and restore service only after a qualified person has verified no gas leak exists. If you have verified no gas leak exists, this video will illustrate how to reset the AGV 300 and 400. The display model being used in this video is the AGV 300, but can be applied to both valves. Keep in mind that the mechanism between our smaller AGV series valves are a bit different, which is why we have made this video. First, we will need to determine that the valve is in the closed position. Looking through the sight glass on the top, you should be able to see a metallic ball. If you are able to see a metallic ball, this means that the valve is open. However, it is possible for the ball to be in the sight glass if the valve is reset incorrectly. More on this later. When the valve is shut, you should see a red color, that being the inside of the valve. Because the sight glass may get dirty or it may be dark, it may be necessary to clean the glass and get a light to help you see inside the valve. The nature of the mechanism behind this product consists of a metal ball moving around on the inside between a ball seat and a trigger. When an earthquake shakes the valve, the ball falls out of the seat and onto a trigger, which pushes it down, unhooking a latch, causing the valve's flapper to close, shutting off the gas flow. On a high pressure system, before you reset your valve, make sure to turn off the gas. From there, you will need to relieve the back pressure in the system by pressing the green colored pressure relief button on the front of the valve. Hold the button in to relieve pressure in the system. Once pressure is relieved, turn and hold the steel shaft labeled reset shaft 1 8th turn only. Your valve should be reset. In order to ensure that this is the case, again, look into the sight glass and you should see the metallic ball. Make sure that when resetting these valves, to slowly turn the reset shaft and hold for a few seconds. By turning too hard or too fast, there is a possibility of causing the ball to jump back onto the latch, causing the valve to shut again. Another alternate situation caused by turning too fast or too hard is that the ball triggers the latch but moves so quickly that it falls back into the seat. This would mean that you would see the ball in the sight glass, but the valve would be shut off. Additionally, turning too hard can cause the valve to break, rendering your warranty void. In any case that you may need to shut your valve off, a second shaft on the front top portion of the valve next to the words emergency shutoff is present to do just that. By using a screwdriver to gently turn this shaft clockwise, you'll be pushing the ball back onto the latch, effectively shutting off gas flow. Make sure that when you reset or shut off your valves, that the shaft returns to its original vertical position. If they do not return to their original position after the ball is kicked, your valve may not work properly. With this knowledge in hand, if your valve fails to reset, please contact us or visit our website at littlefirefighter.com for more information. Thank you.